So now this is a cool night to be here because the uh, Smashing Pumpkins are here. Are you, are you, a, are you a fan? Oh, I am a huge fan. You're I'm a huge like, fan? I'm starstruck. You're starstruck. Admit, Did yeah. you see any of them backstage or anything? I saw Billy Corgan. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, so what... Did you get to talk to him at all or anything? Yeah, I talked to him for a little while. Yeah? So it seems pretty cool. Yeah. Are you developing a crush on him or anything? Or no, this is all platonic. My boyfriend's watching. Oh, really? <laughs> we'll go to a commercial right now and <laughs> you and I will talk. All right, uh, we're going to have to run. Uh, we got a lot of shows still to do. Melissa Joan Hart, thank you thank very much you. for being here. We're taking a break. When we come back, it's Bouncing Pumpkin to go over here. Ah! All right, everybody. Uh, it's a real thrill to have our next guest with us. Uh, here with a song from Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, The Smashing Pumpkin. Yeah! Smashing Pumpkins, that was amazing. Thank you very much for coming here and doing that. Let's talk about uh, tomorrow for just a second. Your guys are up for seven 
Grammys. All right. Have you thought about what you would say if and when you get up there? Are you gonna write a? Are you gonna write something out in case you go up there, or just uh, wing it? Um, we always assume we're gonna lose, so <laughs> we just <laughs> we go in with the losing attitude, uh -huh. and then everything else is. That's positive, great. Yeah. That's the theme of this show. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you guys just finished uh, an 18-month tour and and people i don't think appreciate what a grind that can be how much work it can be what are you going to do now you have plans for you know just taking it easy you're going to sit around eat nachos watch tv or are you gonna twizzlers would you like i would love a twizzler so it's just going to be first a couple of solid months of eating twizzlers well, while in the studio well, of course um, the first thing we did was we went right back in the studio <laughs> oh really did, went back to work yeah uh-huh but is that actually therapeutic and like relaxing compared to touring or is it neurotic and insane when you get it's in the its own kind of right pathology you know. right okay i reckon it sound a lot of fun <laughs> all right um we're we're kind of infamous for making rock and roll an enticing profession <laughs> uh-huh well we can't thank you guys enough for coming here uh and uh, you made this a terrific show for us now, thank see, you but i don't uh -huh. want to cut you off but like uh -huh. i met andy before and he didn't even remember meeting me really yeah <laughs> i think this is it <laughs> I think, I think that was Andy's last night. What do you mean he didn't remember meeting you? He told me earlier today he remembered meeting you. He was a little tipsy. And, uh, <laughs> That's how Andy relaxes before the he, show. You know, he had that look, you know, when you, when you loosen the tie. He was at one of the Saturday Night Live parties. He was like, hey, hey you know, one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so. Andy, is this true? Those parties are a lot of pressure for me. <laughs> Well, speaking of which, I wonder if I'm pressure to end this show now. I'm going to get yelled at by a major network. Um, my thanks to all our guests, the Smashing Pumpkins. Thank you guys very much. My thanks to Melissa Joan Hart for being here. Thank you, Melissa. Our thanks to John Ritter, 70s icon. And, of course, Andy Richter, the Max Weinberg. Good night, everybody. We'll see you.